Lena lebe akazi ukuthi ke ilukhuni ukaba ukuthi ke senda ibe lula la sibeze sizimvisa phulungu khona ngilelo iba lukhuni ngikhona ke la mayima sine thola ukuthi ke imastands ngimele endiwe ngomunye dolo ekuthaka ngomunye i'll make an example of this scene where uh, zo the lady was supposed to drive a car kanzi ke akakwati ku driver i mode special i manual so bekumele ukuthi ke another actor in the Emma stands a driver a motor then base yena so we are poor master eight but then listen it's a gate we are coming on the motor so mele abu nagali aside so we had to like do this in planning because how are we going to shoot it then how are we going to edit it on post production then we plan we plan everything you have a right and then it's a shooter so i edit that is how the scene actually looks at the end you know sometimes it's all about today you're saying like me let's say shooter it's in my effects video on post production gunshot labo we hate to like sell a part and you see because this is how we're going to shoot it uh and the see the thing is effect leganje in the prompts and the big blood we need that and that and that and the machine to the sort thing i will now do all that uh, so that we can help with the game the shoot the land and the poor man jeng over on bali i believe Stomach. <laughs> Vula and form in Fagan, in Fagan did some bees, and go for them and go sat at the little bit in a million and now we look up. Are you happy with the intimacy that we share? What's your biggest fear? I just want to thank you for being a loving husband. And I've said this many times before, but you've got my heart in it. All the best love stories have one thing in common. They go against the craziest odds and every love story or journey is beautiful. Don't miss these Swazi love stories every Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Exclusive to Eswatini TV. Hey uh, my name is Bonkosi Lamini. Uh, aka Dr. Shakes, aka Handsome. Yes, the boy is handsome. Hello, everyone. My name is Melu Simsebele. What's up, guys? My name is Mandy Samamba. Linda Lomafa is my name. Imagine your favorite personality or celebrity. Now, imagine if they had to do a job that you never saw them doing. A job I could never do is be a mechanic. <laughs> a job that I could never do is... Maybe being a pilot. I can't be a pilot. Yeah, no. I think... I would like him to get a job as a... I think that boy. This is the show that takes your favorite celebrity and personality and gives them the challenge of doing a job that some people do every day. <laughs> Can they do it? Will they crumble under the pressure? Find out in the brand new season of Asam Bege. Eat your pitch up. Asam Bege.
Good evening, dear viewers, and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by our number one news provider, Eswatini TV. I am Nondomiso Vilagata, alongside Eza Manze Manze, and here are your top stories. The Minister of Information, Communication and Technology, Her Royal Highness Nkosata Naskanyiso, says the rapid spread of digital communication technologies has necessitated that Eswatini reviews its broadcasting bill. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Moses Villagate, says the country has made a commitment to ensure that there is less carbon emissions. The Confederation of African Football, CAF, has once again rejected Somtlolo National Stadium. The news. The Minister of Information, Communication and Technology, Her Royal Highness Nkosatanas Kanyiso, says the rapid spread of digital communication technologies has necessitated that Eswatini reviews its broadcasting bill. The Minister was speaking at the Hilton Garden Inn in Babane during a workshop with the House of Senate Portfolio Committee on the Eswatini Broadcasting Bill of 2019. The Minister of Info Technology, Her Royal Highness Inkosata Naskanyiso, says the broadcasting landscape has undergone dramatic changes over the years, which has led to losses in revenue even for broadcasting institutions in some countries around the world. The Minister says this is why it is important to review the broadcasting bill, which the Ministry seeks to do so through the Eswatini Broadcasting Bill of 2019. COVID, e broadcasting industry, South Africa, SABC, significantly uh, viewership, the audience, listening audience when it comes to the radio broadcasting. E revenue ya bonje yeshega kulu. Latin America na kona ukanze uti e radio advertising yeshega bo 18.4 percent. Bese e Chile leli velelo nje la shega lwe over and within uh, within the brink of COVID. 900 jobs in radio, television, and print alone. Look, show what's available. Um, shaba nyo lo funa o shaba nyo dinjela le dinja dexagata. And recently, there's um, there are new audio trends which have emanated worldwide. Um, want to believe good thing, but by 2023, there will be 200 broadcasting stations shut down by that time which means that we need to keep an eye on audio and visual trends that are costing. There are five new trends that have emanated to diversify audiences. radio, banvu, in Shanji, or the Tolapi, or the thing on Flambe online. So, we need to engage in multi platform engagement. Our legislation needs to be upgraded so it does hybrid storytelling. We say hybrid because we're saying public, private, and uh, community broadcasting. And we also need to grow in DAB. Plus. The minister says the bill, amongst other things, seeks to contribute towards an increase in job opportunities and revenue. Subscription models of broadcasting. For Eswatini TV News, Nelson Langamanda with Nonjabulo Makakula and Mbongwa Dube Mbabane. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Moses Villagate, says the country has made a commitment to ensure that there is less carbon emissions as stipulated in the nationally determined contributions which were submitted to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change at the COP26 meeting in the Kingdom last year. The Minister was speaking at the Hilton Garden Inn in Babane during the post-COP26 workshop. Eswatini was part of the COP26 meeting last year which focused on climate change issues. Speaking during the post-COP26 workshop, the Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Moses Villagati, says the country has done a lot to reduce carbon emissions. 
leti banza kanye netintweni letinyenti ikakhulu etindzabeni tekokuthi asesibuke leti mahlathi ngoba tinayo imitselela yekokuthi ungehliswa letindvuthu eh itolo sike sathi ngisho letemvelo lokubuka ukuthi nalabo ma plastic nabo yini akusuke fane ke kulabanye kusengakangeni kahle kusekhona laba banentwabe nje ukuthi eh indzaba yabo ma plastic eh kubonda bophatha sakho nabo yini ungathi bahle ukumedeka kepha lokuhle kwekuthi laba nengise bakubona ukuthi ukhona lalapho siyakhona ndinvuke leti lesithi bona kokuthi tingentingi nekokuthi ke sesiqalile kungena kulabo solar energy lokuthi bantu sebangakhona ukuthi batendele gezi ngelilanga lamakhaya ngoba nasingenta njalo ukuthi simhlambeni ngelikhaya 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 sale lifaka lo solar panel ungenta kokuthi bese kwehlisa le indzaba yaletindvuthu eh umoya ke lakithi ngoba lamanye mave abanawo lo moya wekuthi bese akhicita nawo eh lona electricity sine lakithi sine nhlanhlalembe ngoba lalapho cishe ube mnyendi khona ngisetule tinsabeni taselubonjeni lokusho ukuthi kulele etinye tindzawo kuba kuncane lo electricity longa longa khona kumkhicita ngale moya kepha ngabo technology lase bakhona siyethemba kokuthi utawunjinja nakuleto tindzawo The climate change promised by the United Nations Development Programme states that energy and waste are among the major contributors of gas emissions in the country for Swatini TV News, Nelson Wendlangamandla with Nomfundo Makakula in Bongwa, Dube, Mbabane. The Principal Secretary and the Minister of Health, Dr. Simon Zwane, says the ministry is failing to recover 676,000 Malangani, which was paid to Santa Lucia Funeral Services in the year 2010. Dr. Zwane said this when the Minister of Health appeared before the Public Accounts Committee. Minister of Health, Principal Secretary, Dr. Simon Zwane, says the matter in the payment of 600 to the office of the attorney general who discovered that the offices of the company were closed. He says a letter of demand was saved on the company's director but it disappeared after receiving it and the matter is still with the AG's office. Santa Lucia Funeral Services was paid the money without proper documentations. Dr. Zwane asked that the matter should be referred to the losses committee. Some members of the Public Account Committee say the Ministry should continue pursuing the alleged fraudulent payment of Santa Lucia Funeral Services, while some say the matter should be referred to the Losses Committee. It's almost impossible because they go to number contracts they are very fast. Dr. Zwane assures PAC that control measures in the ministry have been strengthened and that contrast between the ministry and companies is now hanged by the Attorney General Office. For Eswatin TV News, Fortune Langa Mandla, with Viminko Sins in his parliament. The Government Assurance Committee has visited the Eswatini Christian Medical University to get an understanding as to what are the bottlenecks to the opening of its medical school. The committee says it does, not, it does not understand what the issue is, as all documents have been submitted to relevant. It has been informed that the medical school has equipment that has been idle for the past five years due to accreditation issues. Eswatini Christian Medical University has been trying to get accreditation for 
it's medical school for the the university to hear what the issues are. Let's find the source of the problem. Why since the, 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 the ninth parliament, 10th parliament, 11th parliament, if we get into the source, for me there is not even a need to talk. And we deal with the source that this is the problem. So that by the time we leave as this parliament, we've got this university. Uh, maybe I'll be able to hand over my resignation later as an MP if mm. this does not happen. Chair, stressful to those who are trying to help us. Just to have a medical school uh, in, in our country. Uh, what pains me most is just that uh, this facility is it's mostly needed by the by the country than him. This is the priority to the country because we are wasting a lot of money uh, taking our uh, our uh, uh, kids outside the country. The university says it would appreciate a solution to the issue as a lot of money has been invested. I think it will be of great assistance to the honourable members to actually go out here having been armed with the information about how far have we gone with the compliance issue. Uh, what is it that on our side is not in place as far as that uh, expectation is concerned? The university says the medical school has equipment that was bought over five years ago that has not been in use. It says it already has MOUs with Vets University as well as another university from Tanzania. It also says professors from South Korea, United States of America, and Canada are ready to start working. For Swatini TV News, Temgo Sima Vimbela, with Sanzi Somlambo, Mbabane. The Elections and Boundaries Commission invites residents in chiefdoms under Sipofane, Nikilgal and Gilong constituencies to attend a civic and voter education this coming weekend. The announcement is made by the Elections and Boundaries Commission chairperson Prince Mtlapslange Nitlamini. This coming Saturday on May 14, the Elections and Boundaries Commission will conduct civic and voter education under Kilkal constituency at Sluti High School under Sluti Chief Dom. Still on Saturday, under Spofani and constituency, CPC will be at the following Chief Doms. Kamkwel, Maldeng, Mapiliyong, Nyaga, Tambuti. On Sunday, May 15, the Elections and Boundaries Commission will be at Lusaben Chief Dom under Kilongo constituency. EPC will also be at Spufani and constituency under the following Chief Doms. Mpumagutse, Kevin, Lubovane. In all the areas, the civic and voter education will commence at 10 a.m. Electorate are encouraged to adhere to all COVID-19 protocols. The announcement is made by Elections and Boundaries Commission. Chairperson Prince Mklap Langene. For Swatin TV News, Fortune, Langamanda, Babane. Investor Roadmap Director Albert Kribi says having a commercial court will have a positive impact on Swatini's rankings in terms of ease of doing business. Kribi says the World Bank estimates that it takes about three years for commercial cases to be decided in general courts and thus the need for specialized courts. Kribi said this during an interview. In the past weeks, Chief Justice Peggy Mapalala announced the establishment of a commercial court in the Kingdom of Eswatini. This has been seen as a positive by the Investor Roadmap Unit Director, Albert Kibi, who adds that this will improve the country's ranking in terms of ease of doing business. commercial court. We are Bambi Sagakulu live at Teneni, a Makala, Labego Kanzaguzi, a Fagoganigani, a high court, a Nyalo, Lawe business, listening to my commercial disputes. Angega sa ya lapo. Segataba dingandolo ya wole separate. Megu estimate ago well bank. Bega ti gu tata 956 days. Gu resolver. Gu tola i court judgment on a commercial dispute. So logo gu shogu ti emva wa 3 years. Ngula pola ya kwa mga kona mga mbele judgment. By then vele le stogo sa le stogo sa le tindolentitengsago. 
The World Bank usually announces rankings annually. However, this has not happened in the past two years due to investigations into corrupt practice by inspectors. Kibi gives us an update. They are working on another benchmark, listing at the e-business enabling environment. Yonage, by a book, a good gong, a little bit of ease of doing business index, without eliminating a gala. Despite the halting of inspections, Eswatini continues to make strides to ensure that its ranking improves and businesses work in more conducive environment. For Eswatini TV News, Temgosi Mavimbela Mbabane. Although the world commemorated in International Day of the Midwife on the 5th of this month, Eswatini has celebrated it today with focus on achievements made by midwives. One of the achievements made was that the number of maternal mortality, 593 per 100,000 live births, to um, 452 per 100,000 live births. Eswatini wants this now to go down to zero mortalities. Event chairman of the Swaziland Midwives Association, Zwage Lenguenya, said most midwives in the country are educated to the extent that they can now operate medical equipment that could previously be exclusively used by specialists and doctors. Nguenya also said they now have an ambition to see the number of maternal mortalities decrease drastically. Bas Fagel Sandra Kulba Belegis, Ngoba, Sisuga, Bo five hundred and ninety ninety six, ninety eight per hundred thousand, Yalosa Sessi, the Sigbo UNFPA Maternal Health Specialist Tamara Slinza said they would continue to support the government of Swatini. Singum Shabushang and a UNFPA Sine Snell Goli led for the League Vision, a good sis, if Funabu Gashisa. Sexual Reproductive Health Program Manager Bonsile Nlabati touched on safe abortion, a topic that has become the talk of the town those days. There's so much um, uh, advocating for legalization of such of abortion and the country is also debating such issues. I think you have heard even through the, 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 the parliament, they've also started, our partners, they've also started that. So, towards. Nsabati said government has a target of reducing maternal mortalities to 325 per 100,000 live births by 2023 and ultimately reduce them to zero. For Swatini TV News, Tim Gosima Vimbela with Sanzi Somlambo. There was a pile-up accident where Quantum hit three motor vehicles at the traffic lights near Total Filling Station and by traffic police officer Sabelo Mnube, the Quantum had a brakes, brakes failure. The accident occurred at around 8 a.m. on Wednesday at the traffic lights near Total Filling Station in Babane, caused traffic jam. Babane traffic police officer Sabelo Mnube says there were, there were no fatalities. Smanga Mavus, who was driving the toy Quantum explained that the cause of the accident was brakes failure and that there were five passengers while Albert Mjuli, whose motor vehicle was hit by the Toyota Quantum, says he was not injured during the accident. <laughs> In motor, I believe you pay the map in the analysis cards. 
National Fire and Emergency Services and Emergency Medical Services personnel arrive at the scene for a Swatin TV News Fortune Langamanda Babane. Dear viewers, now take a look at our financial updates. Standard Bank. It can be. Welcome back. You're still watching Eswatini TV and for your sports news of tonight. The Confederation of African Football, CAF, has once again rejected Samsela National Stadium despite government spending 30 million in Malangini renovating the national stadium. By the Minister for Sports, Harris Bulunga, government has further allocated another 30 million in Malangini to attend to what the CAF inspectors said should be fixed. This means that the country's national teams and clubs representing Eswatini in CAF tournaments will continue to host CAF matches on foreign soil. CAF has rejected some international stadium, confirming that the stadium is still not at an international standard. In a press statement released by the Minister of Sports, CAF says there is more work to be done for the stadium to host international games. So far, government has spent more than 30 million emalangene for the rehabilitation of the stadium and has set aside another 30 million for more work. According to the Minister of Sports, CAF requested more work, especially on areas like tunnels and installations of screens and monitors. The ministry further indicated that all requests by CAF prior were followed, such as synthetic turf, rehabilitation of change rooms, and media boot. However, the minister is optimistic that they will be requesting to CAF to reconsider the decision. The ministry concluded assuring the nation that plans of building a new stadium will be in place soon, but with more cost to be allocated. For Swatin TV Sports, Fabrizio Msonera, Mbawane. Mbawane Highlanders head coach Salawatu Sly Mosala says his team is still in the race for the MTN Premier League title, even though they were held by Malanti Chiefs in a three-all draw clash at Galanga Stadium in Stegim. Highlanders are still second in the league with 59 points, two points behind local leaders Royal Leopard. In a replay midweek fixture at Galanga Stadium in Stegi, Baban Highlanders faced Marani Chiefs looking to add pressure on local leaders Royal Leopard. Uh, the first half ended on one all draw from both sides. In the second half, Marani Chiefs showed more strength as they doubled their lead and went on to get their third goal. With four minutes remaining, Highlanders equalized when getting two goals from Pilani Mkondo and Kenneth Moloto, respectively. Not Highlanders coach so Lord Sly Mosala saying that his side is still in the title chase. No, no, the chances are still there. Remember, we're playing four games. Once again, if you win four games, you won the league. If you beat Leopard, you go one point ahead. You win the next one, you still stay one point. You go the next one, you stay one point. You play the last one, you win it. <laughs> you win four games, you win the league. Chances of getting Marley Chiefs coach for comments on the game 
were not successful due to the incidents that were unfolding at the stadium. Highlanders are now second, two points behind dog leaders Ray Lopat, who are 61 points in 26 games so far. Bavane Swallows, who beat Dabanguru Kelis for one goal, are now third with 57 points, while Young Buffaloes are fourth with the relegation zone. Manini Pirates have moved to 11th place with 28 points after defeating Green Mamba two goals to one, while Marandi Chiefs remain 15th with 21 points. For Swatin TV Sports, Fabi Sumsunera, Stegi. That is all we had for tonight, but before we wrap up, we'll take a recap of today's headlines. The Minister of Information, Communication and Technology, Her Royal Highness Nkosatana Skanyiso, says the rapid spread of digital communication technologies has necessitated that Swatin reviews its broadcasting bill. The Minister of Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Moses Villagati, says the country has made a commitment to ensure that there is less carbon emissions. The Confederation of African Football, CAF, has once again rejected Somtlolo National Stadium. The bulletin tonight. Up next is the weather forecast for selected towns. Good night to Swatini. Tenemalangenbogo <laughs> Meaning, we're going to cool the water. So, we're going to